Hey, happy Thursday. I got my hair done. I had her put in some long layers, so it's not like super noticeable, but just she cut it, she cut about an inch off the ends and did some long layers and of course did my roots and everything. I'm so happy, look at that. Wow, mm, look at that. The best part was she also waxed my brows and she handed me a mirror to show it to me. It was a Miss Piggy mirror. Oh my God, it was adorable. It had Miss Piggy on the back. It was the cutest mirror, oh my gosh. I thought it was adorable. And so I brought her all the stuff. You know, I, I mentioned before I had all this stuff from Christmas. I had five, wait a minute, one, two, three. Yeah, five totes full of Christmas stuff. And she said, well, I'll look through it and see what I want. She took all of it. She took every bit of it. Like, yay. She said, every tote you open is better than the one before it. And she's just like, oh, I love it. I love it all. So she took it all. Because I told her, I said, look, any of this you don't want, don't feel like you have to take it. She's going to use it for crafting and stuff like that. She said she wants to get into starting to make, do some wreaths and some crafting stuff, you know. So, um, you know, I said, well, if you don't want it, don't feel like you have to take it. Anything you don't want, I'll just take it to Goodwill or whatever. Don't worry about it. She took all of it. So I don't even have to go drop it off, which is great. So she's very happy. I'm very happy. The sun is hot on my face. Yay. Look at that. I am... I am also happy with my hair. I love it when she does my hair. And that is why I come all the way out here. It's like an over an hour round trip to come get my hair done. But because she doesn't live in town anymore. And she uh, has set up a salon at her home. Kind of like Truvy, you know, in Steel Magnolias. And so, but now I come out here. It's really great. So, um, oh, I was going to tell you that the, special the specialty guy... For my AT&T Costco gift card called me last night at about 6.30 and I was in a class. I did go to a class last night, but let me tell you, I was wearing these Saucony shoes and I was fine. I was totally fine. I didn't really have any, much pain at all. I don't feel like it hurt anything. I got up this morning. My feet are fine. Um, so There are certain classes I feel like I can do because there's not a lot. It's not like a high impact class. There's not a lot of, there's no jumping or anything. Anyway, so I was in this class, and I had my ringer turned off on my phone, and I saw that he was calling me, and I, the, the specialty guy, about the thing. So I thought, well, I'll let it go to voicemail, because I'm busy right now. And then I called him back as soon as I got out of class, and he was really snotty about it. He was really kind of snotty. He goes, you know, it says here in the notes that, again, he sounds like an underwater Australian. I'm not going to try to talk the way he does. It says here in your notes that you mentioned that you were available at any time and I tried to call you and you didn't answer and I had to leave you a voicemail. Um, I just don't understand why you, you said you were available at all times, but I had to leave you a voicemail. I said, you know, it's like that, again, you know I'm in the Eastern Standard Time zone. It's there in the notes. For a lot of people, that's like dinner time, and a lot of people don't answer the phone. I know that was a rule in my house. If the phone rings during dinner, you don't answer it. And we didn't even, we didn't, this was back in the days before, you, we didn't even have an answering machine. Well, I mean, people had answering machines, but we didn't. We had a rotary, we had an avocado green rotary phone on the wall with a cord that was 50 miles long because my dad liked to sit. He had this ugly ass chair that he liked to sit in on the other side of the room over here and he would drape the cord all the way across. He'd sit in his chair and I would dial the number. I knew all of his friends' numbers. I could still tell you what they are and, and I would dial it and hand him the receiver. And if they weren't home, I had to come get the receiver, hang it back up and call somebody else. Anyway, what the hell was I saying? But yeah, that was a kind of a rule when I was growing up. Like, you don't, during, when we're eating dinner, you don't answer the phone. And everybody that knew us knew, don't call, don't call between like six and seven. Because that's usually when we would eat. Don't call, because it really pisses my dad off if you bother him while he's trying to eat. He does not like that. Don't call during, and he doesn't call, he tries not to call people during those hours. Like, don't, because people are trying to eat. Don't bother them right now. Call them, call them later or call them or before that. So I said, you know, a lot of people are eating dinner at 6.30 and are not available. 
And he said it again. He goes, but it says here you're available at all times. I said, can you just delete that? Can you just take that out? My goodness. I, I didn't answer the phone. But I called you back like, what, 20 minutes later after I got out of my class? All right, is this really something you want to get mad about? So I said, anyway, here I am. I'm talking to you now. So you know what he said? Okay, now when I talked to him last uh, night before last, and he called me at 10 o'clock at night. Well, he said you were always available. I didn't mean 10 p.m. He said he was, okay, here's what he said. I'm going to be working on this for you. He said, I, I, they have forwarded the information to me about your issue. I'm going to work on it, and I will get back to you within 24 hours. That's what he said. The day before yesterday, that's what he said. Well, when he called me yesterday evening, and then I had to call him back, you know what he said? Can you please let me know what your problem is so we can assist you? I said, what do you mean let you know what my problem is? I thought you were working on my problem. Well, ma'am, I'm not quite sure what it is you want us to do. I wasn't aware there was any confusion about it, but apparently there is. So I said, all I want, all I want is to know what happened to my gift card that I was supposed to get that was in the contract that I would get. That's that's all. Oh, oh, okay. Um, let me look into that for you. I said, that's what I thought you had done already. Well, ma'am, I'm going to put you on a brief hold. I'll be right back. Okay. So he puts me on hold for like 10 minutes. He comes back. And finally, finally, I got an answer. Finally, he goes, yes, ma'am, I have checked something, something, I don't remember. And it does appear that the card was never sent. We'll go ahead and authorize, you know, the card to be sent or whatever. Um, you can expect to receive it within, it will take approximately two weeks to arrive. Okay, cool. Thank you for doing that. I appreciate it. So then he goes, I'll be calling you again within the next 48 hours for a follow-up. I said, what, what is there to follow up on though? I mean, if you would just go ahead and do exactly what you just said, you authorize the card, send it out. We're done. We don't need to talk anymore. I mean, you're a pleasant person and it's been nice, but you don't have to call me back because we're kind of done here. He said, and he just kept repeating. I was like, am I talking to a robot? I will give you another call as a follow-up within 48 hours to go over what we've discussed today and blah, blah, blah. And I, I he, oh, he got mad too because he said, if, if you save my number into your contacts, then the next time I call, maybe you will be better able to answer the phone. And I said, no, I, I, I didn't. I didn't not answer the phone because your number is not in my contacts. I didn't answer the phone because I was busy. It had nothing to do with me having your name in my contacts. So again, he goes, if you would please put my name and number into your contacts, that way, when I call you again, you will be better able to answer the phone when I call. I said, I, I don't need your, your name and number. I don't. Um, you know, if I'm busy, it won't matter who you are. I'm not going to be able to take your call at that moment. And he said again, please, ma'am, put my name and number in your contacts so that when I call you again, you will be better able to answer the phone. So I, okay, I'm getting nowhere with this guy. And it kind of reminded me of the movie Idiocracy where, not sure, Joe figures out the only way to get them to water the crops with water and not a sports drink was to tell them that he could talk to plants and he talked to them and the plants said they wanted water and then they used water. <laughs> okay, tell the guy you did it. Okay, I've put your name and number. I lied to the guy. I put your name and number in my contacts. Thank you so much, ma'am. I will be in touch within the next 48 hours. Please look for my call and I will follow up with you and recap what we discussed today and just, you know, it will be just a courtesy follow-up call. I said, again, you really don't have to do that because we're done. You said you're going to, you're going to have the card sent out, the hundred dollars. Okay. We're done. We're done. You don't have to call me anymore unless there's a problem. You know, you've confirmed my name, my mailing address, the amount of the card. You've done all that. You, there's nothing left to do here except to actually, you know, send the card. 
Yes, ma'am, I understand. Thank you so much. I will be in touch within the next 48 hours. And he just repeats, the, oh, like, okay, fine. Thank you, fine. Yes, call me again. That's wonderful. Okay, thank you. And I finally got off the phone. Sweet Lord. Sweet Lord. Okay, so anyway, yay! I'm going to get my card within, I don't know why it's going to take two weeks. Maybe it's coming from Mars or something. And I got my hair done. It's lovely. And on my other channel, I don't know why it always works out this way. This has just become the thing that I do. When I get my hair done, I go buy clearance food at Walmart and I do a show and tell of clearance food. I, I have a bunch of it. I bought it yesterday in preparation for this so I don't have to go out because it's very windy. Well, not right now, but it was windy earlier. And the wind messes it up and it makes my scalp oily. So I didn't want to be out in it any more than I have to be. I'm very happy. I'm just going to go around swooping and swooshing my hair for a while. It's funny because when I come home, I see my kids, look at my hair. Doesn't it look nice? And they both always say, honestly, I can't tell a difference. They don't notice. They don't care. They don't notice my hair. Bleh. Well, anyway, I like it. It makes me happy. So I'm not going to worry about it. So happy Thursday to you. I hope your day is going great. I'm pretty happy. And later, I'll be showing you some clearance food from Walmart. Wee! And tomorrow we're making cakes. So that's going to be really fun. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Yay! See, I was supposed to get it done like a week and a half ago, but she had COVID, so she couldn't do it. But she's feeling much better now. She seems to be in a much better spirits now, and she's kind of, you know, she's had some personal stuff going on, but it sounds like she's doing a lot better right now. So that's really good. So yay! Thank you again for being here. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you again soon.